Let's open the scriptures. I was telling you that the demon that had follow you the disease that has followed you, the problem that has followed you, will never follow you again. I was given this message. Come and share it with me. From Genesis 6, from verse 1. Genesis 6. Genesis chapter 6, starting from verse 1. Yes. Now it happened when men began to multiply on the face of the land, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful and desirable. And they took wives for themselves, whomever they chose and desired. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive and remain with man forever, because he is indeed flesh, meaning sinful, corrupt, given over to sensual appetites. Nevertheless, his days shall yet be a hundred and 20 years. There were Nephthalim men of stature, notorious men on the earth of the, on those days and also afterward when the sons of God lived with the daughters of men and they gave birth to their children. These were the mighty men who were of old men of a renowned, great reputation and fame. Carry on with it. Verse 5. The Lord saw that the wickedness, meaning depravity of men, was great on the earth, and that every imagination or intent of thoughts of his heart were only evil continually, the Lord regretted that he had made mankind on the earth and he was deeply grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy, meaning an annihilate mankind whom I have created from the surface of the earth. Not only men, but the animals and the crowning things and the birds of the air. Because it deeply grieved me to see men's sin and regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor and grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the records of the generation, meaning family history okay. of Noah. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is the experience of me and Mama. I want everyone here. Everyone here. To go and try it. It will work very well. You go back. You learn to love your parents. Irrespective of anything you want. Because your parent will remain your parent. You respect elders around you. Uh, if you are working, take care of your parents. Your money will never go down. You can start small like what we did with Mama. When I started to give my mom money, was was two hundred rand. But I can't tell you when we finish. How much we are giving our parents? Mama, parents. There's no one who can stop you. 
love that person. You overcome anyone. You you have. Are you hearing that? I want you to go and try this. Began to search for the things that places go. You start from home. Go and try to do it. Go and try to do it. You start from home. Go and try to do it. You start from home. Go and try to do it. You start from home. You don't hold grudges. I will swear to the grudge. You respect parents. Take care of them. Go and try to do it. Do something for them. Go and try to do it. God is going to bless you. I don't know if you're hearing me. I can say that. Do you want to be successful in life? Yeah. Eh? Mm. Listen to this. The moment you began to do that, you began to understand why you have people around you. God is always watching, looking for the one who will have good deeds and chose that person. God is searching for someone. And when he chose you, he gave you something called favor. Today we will talk about favor. Because God wants to give you favor. I want to tell you what is favor. You are chosen for many to get things that they can't get. Things that they will never in their lives get. Tell about you are going to be chosen for many. To be given things that why, why no one you know, in your family will never have. That is favor from God. By the time of Noah, where we are reading, the Bible says there was wickedness. It was abounding. To extend that it was not easy that you can live righteous life. And God began, he started to be tired. He looked around. He found one man and said, I can rather destroy all. But I will give this one food. I will give this one for you. I want to show you where we have read. The Bible says, on that verse 1, is when people began to multiply. Listen to this. When God looked at us, he checked if we are seeing that we are men. The moment when people start to be many, many in church, many around us, many doing business, the judgment of God comes. I don't know if you hear me. The judgment of God will never come when you are few. It will come when you are many. Now he will start to search for the one who is different among them. We need to be different among the many. If you want favor, it is not the majority that controls us. Majority has misled many people. And they found themselves in a uniform status. Living the same way. Dressing the same way. Dying the same way. God wants to give you favor. That you will be different. I've read here where my mom was reading. Look here when the... The Lord says, the Lord said, my spirit shall not strive and remain with men forever. Did you read that verse there? 
Because he is indeed flesh. Sinful, corrupt, given to sensual appetites. I'm sure we have got five senses. So when God looked, he found that those people were satisfied those senses. Their focus was to satisfy their eyes. What they touch. All those senses, what they hear. And when God looked, he said, no, these people, no one satisfied them. No one satisfied them. I want someone that I will give him a favor. Can you just give me five senses? That you know? Is what? King, eh? Smell. Smell. Oh, listen, smell is nose, eh? Uh, and number two, touch is your head, isn't it? Three, here is your is ways, eh? It's your ears. Eh? Four is what? Four. Eh? Mato. Your eyes to see. Is it? The last one. Taste. 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 Food. Eh? So all these senses were controlling people by the time of Noah. That they forget there is God. They want to eat. They are happy about what they see, what they touch. In other words, things around them control them. And when God looked, he said, no. Which one is different to you? Listen to this. God is always searching for someone who is different from people. And give him what is different. There is favor that is about to come. But if you are like other people, favor will be limited. It is possible that favor will not come to you. The Bible says, when God looked at them, he was not happy. He was not happy. As somebody said, my friend, which sense in your body is really controlling you? His mouth, eh? His taste. His taste. You, you can divorce by, because there's no food, isn't it? You, you, you can divorce because there's no food. There's no ice cream. You can just say no. Some of you, you are deceived by the ways. Someone can lie to you. God wants people who can close their senses and ask himself what is it that God is saying about my situation. I will take only what God says. Not what I'm feeling on my senses. The Bible says on that time there were mighty men who were old men of renown and great reputation and fame. And he said, the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great on earth that every imagination or intent of the thoughts of his heart were evil continually. When God looked at them, he looked at their thoughts, their intents, and said, these people I can't give them this. Listen, God always look at your thoughts. Tell them, God is checking your thoughts. There are things that 
God will never give you. Until you renew your mind. But the word of God. Until you are ready to shape yourself but the word of God. What you are thinking now must correlate with this the word. If it's different, you can lose favor from God. I was speaking the funeral that there was a mountain there. I used to go there and sit with my Bible. Because my mom said, if you've got nothing to do, go there. Take your Bible. Just go there and study your Bible. Sometimes when I was there, I realized that it's only the Bible that I trust. You know, if you reach a level whereby the word of God is the only, only thing that you trust, than what you are hearing, than what you can taste, God is watching. He can give you what another man cannot receive. When I was there, I began to feel I have everything when I have the Bible. Because whatever we have, which our senses are desiring or connected to, all these things will die when we die. We need to understand that we there's a favor from above. Something that you cannot get by your ability or using your wisdom. We need to change how we think. We need to change our thoughts. We need to change how we do things. If we do anything because of someone we are wrong. We have to do it because of the word. So we need to do something because of the word of God, not because of someone. Look here, the Bible says, of the last verse we are reading here, the special verse 8, read. Verse 8. Uh -huh. But Noah found favor and grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found favor and grace in the eyes of the Lord, not in the eyes of people. We are so much trying to satisfy people when before God we are not. We need to find favor from God. Sometimes you can be so much different with what other people are saying, as long as it pleases God, as carry long on. As you are out, this is the time to please God. God who gives you favor. Listen to this. When God starts to intervene in your, your situation, those people who think they can't help you, they will be shocked. When favor is working in your life, people who think it's over with you, they'll be surprised. Because many people cannot think above Think about you above themselves. They, not, they will never think about you above themselves. They will never be happy to see you having things which are better than what they have. But the same God who created them knows what you are about to get in life. I see favor locating you. I see favor. The eyes of the Lord is about to look at you and you'll be taken aside for a certain purpose. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. I want to show you scriptures. Let's look at this one. Luke 1. Verse 26. This one we know. Let's read Luke 1, 26 to 32. 26 to 32. Yes. Someone is about to get favor here. Someone is about to get favor here. Just read that verse. 26. Now, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, 
the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, a descendant of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, the angel said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly perplexed at what he said and kept carefully considering what kind of a greeting this was. Listen to this. The angel was sent to Mary. Mary was shocked because she understood the life she was living. The, the thing that we have read about Mary only here is she was a virgin. There, there was nothing attached to that. She, she was not even educated. We, she didn't have a career. When we read about Mary, we hear that she was a virgin. We, we, we understand her by what was Rafushi happening to her. Shali lo, what was happening to her body. If Mary was sick, ha, the angel, it will be written here that no, she no, was Lord. sick. Irile, Maria, ona, halwa, hala. But here the Bible says she was Mara, a virgin. No, Bible, ka, orne, ha, le, and the angel went there. And the muruma, ta, na, when she here, she said ta, no. Na, I cannot be greeted that I found favor. I, I do not deserve that I have a highly favor from above. You know, there are some situations when you look at yourself, you, you understand this is not your portion. You do not deserve this kind of life. If we make you to choose between ah, two oranges, a bigger and small, you will choose a small orange. Because you understand Go yourself that you are small. small. Mary had the same Maria mind. She, she had the same mind. She said, no, I cannot be greeted this way. I'm suffering here. How can I be a person who's favored highly? I'm here to tell someone here that your situation is so tough right now. But I'm here to tell you that you are favored highly. There's a favor that is coming from above. And it's a high I favor. <laughs> if you are hearing me shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you read, continue, Mama? Uh -huh. The angel said to her, Yes. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Listen carefully. You will conceive in your womb and give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great. And eminent, and will be called great, will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Carry on. And he will reign over the house of Jacob, meaning Israel, forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mary said to the angel, how will this be? Can you stop there? Can you hear the visitation? Can you hear Mary also? Questioning what she's hearing. The message from above was of saying, Mary, you have found favor. And the message continued to say, what is about to happen does not need any effort. Does not need any your ability. You just wait like that. You will find yourself pregnant. Think about, you don't do any action. Sit on the table. Put food on your table. 
take fork and knife. When you are busy eating, pregnant will start there. You will conceive without any ability. I'm here to tell someone here, it's time right now that you relax. The favor of God is about to bring something without your ability. Your ability is not needed. God has given you favor. Listen, you don't need to struggle, Mary. You don't need to go to bed. Don't go to bed. You have found favor. Listen, this favor will make you to be pregnant. I'm here to tell someone here. You find favor. You don't need money to start a business. But you'll be a millionaire. I say you found favor. The abilities and the structures and formulas of men are not needed in your life to make you to be something. Can you tell us, hey, the formulas the structures, the structure, the, the, the guidelines, the directions, the abilities are not needed. Something is happening without your effort. Can you tell your neighbor that is something is happening without your effort? Something is happening without your effort. There is something happening without your promotion without apply. There is something is happening in your life. A house without building it. This is favor. That is favor for you. I feel favor here. Listen to this. I told people here. That after God told me I'll travel all over the world, I stopped changing how I preach. I stopped, I began to be like a minister in the parliament. I began to relax. Why? Because of favor. I was screaming. I was shouting. I stopped shouting. I said, hey. I know who's here. Who's with me? He gave me favor. Even when the doors are closed, when I reach there, you will open. There are some people who are here today. Doors are closed in front of you. But from this week, you are going home with favor. Those doors will be open. I said, those doors will Mama be open. That's favor for you. I, I want to tell you something that you don't know. God doesn't want you to build a house. You can do that for your parents. You can do that for your friends, your brothers. But you, you have favor. Someone must build a house you need. Listen, someone will build a house. After he finishes, he must die. When, when, when that person dies, they sell. And you come without knowing history. You look, you realize this is the house of my dream. And God began to give you money to buy that. Uh, I don't know if you are hearing me. I prophesy favor. I say I prophesy favor. Christians, you must stop struggling. Because you understand the one who's on your side. He's above all. He has made you the Ahead, not the chain. Things must start by you. I see favor manifesting in your life. Mary say, How? Can you read that, that, that question? Listen, listen, because you'll think I'm talking my stories here. Read that question. Mary Verse 29. But, uh, where, but she uh -huh. was greatly perplexed uh, at what he said and yes. kept carefully 
considering what kind of greeting this was. Carry on reading, Mama. I want you to read the verse of saying, stupid. Verse 32. Uh-huh. He will be great and eminent and will be called the son of the most high. Mama, read verse 34. 34. Yes. Mary said to the angel, uh-huh. how will this be since I am a virgin? How will and this be since I'm a poor man? How will this be for me to have a company? How will this be? Are you hearing this question? Can you ask someone to say, my friend, the way you are seeing me, you don't know me. Because God is in the processes. There are things he's doing which you won't understand the result. How will this be? I want to tell you something. I used to have a question that because me, I grew up loving to do something wrong. But I was telling someone that one of the things that I took it to myself. I said, God, if you have called me, you need to give me something to do that people will know that you are the one who called me. I will always pray this prayer. Not knowing Moses prayed the same. This conviction, a conviction power, matter, this miracle that will happen will make everyone to know we know you. But for you to do this is Jehovah. There's favor that is coming to someone who's listening to me. God will give you ability that will make your friends say, how, how, come? how will this be? How did it come to happen that he stays in town? You who grew up at home drinking tea by porridge. How did it come to happen that you go and stay in town? You eat a chicken meat once per year. You who we know that you went to school because of your grandma's pension fund. How did it come to that you go and stay in town? I see someone here. The favor of God is coming to change your address. Tell someone, say, hey, I see my address changing to a better place. Because I've got favor from God. Without my abilities, I'm going there. Without my efforts, I'm seeing the end. There are some people who are here. Things are tough. Lift up your hand and see where you are going. Lift up your hand. Lord, behold, you will see what God is bringing. It will come by God's favor. You know, when I was, I was reading this, how will this be? How will this be? This P. You know P in vendors. B not a vendor. You have fallen and you hit down by your head. God will do things that will because make when people they were to try, fall. When they will be busy trying to reason, so how did it come to pass? Their hearts will melt and they will faint. The favor of God here written on your face. You will pass where other people are hindered. 
doors are open for you. I said, doors are open for you. This week, don't walk like a woman who like, seems like you don't understand your own issue. Or a man who doesn't understand where he's going. Save her from the road. You must change the way you live. And you must walk like a person who understands himself. A person who knows where he or she is going. We want Christian who say, hey, we know where we are going. I know where I'm going. Don't be afraid of anything. The devil wants to scare you. The devil wants to tell you there is nothing that will happen to you. I am here to tell you that there is something something that is happening. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Proverbs 3. One to verse four. Yes. It says, My son, mm -hmm. do not forget my teaching. He tells us. But let your heart keep my commandments. Did you hear that? Amen. My son, do not think about your finger. Think about what I am saying. Concerning your favor in my word. My son. My son, my daughter. It is not time now to worry about what you are facing. Take the word. Put it in your heart. When you face trouble, you look at the trouble. It's a trouble. News unto me is greater than you. So I'm not afraid. Because I'm not alone. I'm with my God. Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. He said, Lord, I will be with you until to the end. So I'm not afraid of my situation because my God has given me favor. And because he's on my side, I'm more than the conqueror in Christ Jesus. Whatever I face today, I overcome. I overcome all the time. Whatever I'm facing, it's a program. It's not a problem. It's a program because I'm passing through. There is someone here. God is giving you favor. Where you are working, what you are facing, is a program. It's not a problem. Hey, you are lacking some things in your family. That lack is a program. It's not a problem. It's a testimony. You are about to testify because the favor of God is upon your life. There are some people here. I'm searching for them. I say, hey, hey, the hand of the Lord hey, is upon you. You are chosen to be different. Listen to this. When Jesus, Jesus entered the temple, he was given a scroll. When he read at the scroll, he was talking that I'm no longer a carpenter. I'm no longer a carpenter. From the scroll, he said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Hey, it's a hey, right touch me. Hey, hey, to prophesy. To preach. I've got favor that you don't know. The Bible says when he closed the scroll, everybody was watching. How we know him? How can he say the way he speaks? This is the son of the carpenter. But hey, the favor of God was upon Jesus. That when he caught the scripture, it's as if he 
is reading about himself. There is someone here. I want to prophesy you. That this year, don't look at your problem. It's a program. It has been a time set for you to go through. And I see you going through. This week, hey, someone who's connected with your victory is coming your way. If you believe child, if you believe child, if you believe child, I feel something today. I feel crazy here because of the favor in my life. There is a favor that is coming to you. There is a favor. I said, take it. I said, take it. In Jesus. Name. Sit down. How did you learn fast? Hey. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. It's a program. Those steps are progress. Those challenges are progress. Soon I'm about to forget. In my program, in my life with my wife, we were bound to stay in a shack in Winnie Mandela. Zone 10, zone 10. 15 or 6. 15 or 6. We had a stand there. And we were standing still there. In, in Mandela. In our program. We were supposed to start a church there. And we started being formed with my two kids. In our program. When I was busy preaching, the first member entered. And he said, What is happening here? And I said, It's the church of God. And he says, I don't know understand. Because in your program, there are some people who don't understand. Until favor show up. Can I tell you something? God said to me, hey, move your church now. Take it on the back of your house. It was our program. We took our church. We put it at the back. Listen to this. When I was excited, after buying some chairs, I said, hey, go to the dustbin. I asked myself, why I'm going to dustbin? And when I was there, God says, I'm sending you to dustbin because people that I will send, they are like dustbin. They are inside the dustbin. But when I they come to you. I will make them leaders. They will come like they are rejected because I love the rejection. When those who are rejected are rejected, I take the ones who are rejected and put them ahead. I was not understanding. I began in my program to clean the land and to clean the land and we started a to cut story short in my program people rise up to fight the church not understanding that in my program I have to have a length I have left them there now I'm here in my land today I'm free I'm free in the program of Isaac. It happened to the same. It happened the same. The Bible says he dig the well of his father and they fought him. He went to dig another one and they fought him. They didn't know there was a favor of God upon him until he dig the last one and they fail. They fail. Your enemies are bound to fail. They've been chasing you because of the favor that God has given you. I see them failing this way. I see them failing this way. say, hey, I see your enemies failing because of the favor 
favor they won't compete you if you hear me shout hallelujah. hallelujah what is your program you heard all you are on the move I see you reaching there I see you reaching there let's read few scriptures Psalm 90 190 <laughs> Verse 58. Arise. Arise. When the favor of God Psalm 190 verse, verse 58. Verse 58. Yes. It says. Yes. I sought your favor with all my heart. Uh -huh. Be merciful and gracious to me according to your promises. When the favor God is upon you. All that God has promised will come to pass. All, all, all will come to pass. Sometimes you look at the promises of God, they look like delay. But I'm here smiling with you. Though there's a delay, but they will come to pass. The favor of God is like that. Can you read it again, Mama? I sought your favor with all my heart. Uh -huh. Be merciful and gracious to me according to your promises. Did you hear that? I sought for a favor with all my heart and God began to do every promise said. Every promise. Especially if you're a pastor. You're here. God is about to do something. If you're not a pastor, you're a Christian. Here. Just forget. Don't worry. Don't even worry. From now on, pray to seek God. Don't pray to get things. Because God is aware of God what he has promised. Once he gives you favor, all will come your way. I say all is coming your way. Receive all. Receive all. Receive all. I say receive all. Let's read a few scriptures we close. Uh, this one of 1 Corinthians. One. Chapter 1, verse 27. Chapter 1, verse 27. We'll never preach to you without reading this. Verse 27. But God. Are, yes. But God has selected for his purpose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise revealing their ignorance and God has selected for his purpose the weak things of the world to shame the things which are strong revealing their fri frailty did you hear that I want to demonstrate what I'm saying I want to demonstrate to those people you know at home who are better than you with everything. You won't know how you overtake them. Because God selected you with your foolishness, with your weakness. And said, so let me take this one. You know how God works. God wants to look where people are not looking. God works that way. When you are here, when you are looking that side, you check at majority. When majority are looking that side, God will go that side. That is why I told people here that January is not a good time of prayer. January is not good. It's the time to praise God. January, it's time to praise God. February, March, it's a good time for prayer. If you want to pray, 
And you hear from God. Check when people are busy. They are busy. No, go and study the word. Don't do fasting, study the word. Because God doesn't want to go by majority. I don't know if you hear me. Some people were telling me something. They will say there's a place called Way 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 of Prayer. And all of them were going there. I told one boy, I said, come here. Don't even go there. I have never heard a prophet from there. You pray in the house. Pray outside of the house. If it's night, just do what I'm telling you. Something would happen. I want to tell you something. Even here in church, there's too much majority and competition. Because where there's majority, there's competition. But I'm here to tell you, we draw from them. Don't compete. The Lord will choose you and and give you favor. I see an outstanding result. I see miracles following you soon. Allow people who think they are wise. Those who think they are wise, using their wisdom, not asking God, he leave them. Go and choose those who are crying to him. Today, God will choose you and give you favor. Let him choose you and give you favor. God bless you.